Okay, hello. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I figured I'd do another one. You know, it's just a, another game review. It's, uh, it's, I've had it in my folder for a while, but it's Black Hat Retribution. It's a game on both PC and PS4. It's a first person shooter, kind of like Halo and Call of Duty a little bit. Uh, but it's, a, it's really an indie game. It's pretty decent. I mean, there's still little bugs in it. It's just. I actually think it's a pretty good game. Again, a bunch of bugs, and it's lag and all that, but... And this is also like a nine and a half minute video on a much shorter game review, but... Don't want it too long, because then you run yourself talk about it, and then you don't want it too short, because you can say everything you want to say. But we'll make it work. Anyway, so... This is a decent game, I have fun on it. Look at all that stuff. And then there's, but there's also... Some bad things about it, like... The sensitivity even when it's way up, it feels to be really slow. It's not really a mini map. The aiming and trying to get a guy can be difficult, like as you saw right there. But you know, if you really need to, you can get them with the pistol too. There's different game modes like there's like stuff like FFA, um, capture the flag, team deathmatch. I believe what I'm playing right here is the capture the flag. But then. Um, you can unlock different stuff by like, um, you get points for killing people, you can unlock stuff like a flamethrower, this bodysuit, and it's like heavily armored, it be good, but if you haven't tried it, it'll be a PS4, it's free, so you can do that, or if you have PC, it's on Steam, for free as well, play it on both, it's decent, this is PS4 gameplay, just as you could probably tell just by looking at that, but, you know, it's a decent game, it can be good fun, it all just depends on how well you like it, how you play FPS games, and all that. And you can see like the guns kind of look like early 2000s, but decent graphics. Nothing like what you have for like Battlefield and Call of Duty, but it's okay. Not too bad. Ugh. You can see right there, see, it kind of takes a while. And so when you're aiming down your sight, it's sensitivity it's really, really slow. It's hard to maneuver, so you want to be like, you want to like get the guy like right away. So you, you want to aim like in front of him to get him. And, but sometimes it can be quite difficult. You're just trying to aim on him. I got a knife me, I believe. But, and then you can see, like, you spawn multiple people. See right there, there's capture points and all that, that's what I was talking about, and the, we can unlock points. And since a guy knifed me, I want to knife a guy. So I did. But, yeah. And you, I think, also I wanted to sh show you guys what the knifing looked like. Don't know how that guy survived. I literally hit him twice, three times. And I probably just should have just shot him, but... And then it's also responded to like Battlefield. And I should have shot the guy by this. Like, and let's see what can happen. And as you can see, we all died. But overall, I'd give a, this game about a 6, 6.5 at most. Because you know, it could be higher, but it needs to fix like the sensitivity and down sight, how slow it is. Fix like this bug where kind of like a lag, like, or a ban like hey, in Battlefield. Other than that, it's a pretty decent sort of game, as long as you, um, like that'd be quick to learn it, and you have played before, you have to make sure you know what you're doing, it could be sneaky, and also you have to be quick, because you have to aim down the site, most of the time I just don't even aim down the site, I just start shooting like that, because it's easier to move. See here, quickly just pull up the pistol if you want to get the guy. See right there, like, that damn, like, lag, like crazy right there. See what I'm talking about, like, that lag is insane. You're just like, damn, what the hell do I even do? And I'm just like, you let's load, and get that flag, and then with the flag, you can't run. So, you just, you need your people covering you at all times. And that's real to. Oops. Just quickly zoom back and forth like there. I see when I zoom down the side, I could move quick enough to get him. So he was probably not even aiming down the side and he was able to kill me. But there have been a few like patches for it since it came out. You don't lag as much, but the sensitivity is still pretty bad. 
I totally just raped that guy, but and then got that guy right there. I can even nope. There we go. That guy got me. See, it's kind of hard to tell what you're doing, but it can be pretty fun too. It's a good game. If you're looking for a new game to try out, or when you play on your PC or PS4, I'd try this game out. Give it a try. You might know you might like it. Yeah, but you know, it's really good to give it a try. It's free, so it's not like you don't like it. It was a loss. And then you have you know, FFA where you have to get 3,500 points, I think. Okay. It's just that we're killing each other. We get fast. And then there's also games like Game Modes, like Search and Destroy. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like Search and Destroy. So you have one life, one round, there's like six rounds, I think. This is decent. And there's some maps that, like, I like this map. It's, one, it's like my favorite just because I just find it's like a map where it's like dark, rainy, so it's be hard to see the guy. And there's another map where I, I like it's like another kind of like hangar, like, you can go outside and kill people there too. And then there's like construction set one, which I like too. That's good. We were outside going to the construction site, you get a lot of unfinished house, kill people there, blah blah blah. I've only played like maybe like five maps, and I have another hundred in the map, but I've only done five of them. And then there's also different playlists per um, uh, game mode, where it be like one map only, or a bunch of different maps. And then you have... You can customize class of boat, you have like buy coins and all that, something like that. It's, I just, it's a lot of work to have coins and all that, which you learn from the up or buying. But I just thought, since it's, it's just so annoying, I just usually just stick to that one gun. Basically, it's like the standard and still works pretty well. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, I don't know, I just like, I was just thinking about, um, how this game would can't really describe it because it's not like a major FPS. And did I just get one shot in the back? I think I did. Wow. But and then you can also customize your guy to have like these certain attachment things on you, what your suit looks like. So there's a little customization to it. You can see there's some blood, but when you start shooting a guy, like stops when your sight and you kill him. And then you have and look at that. I like that too that shows like the guy kind of does battlefield but instead of you dying and showing the guy it shows you like for like a second and it goes to the guy you know and there's nothing like original about this because it's an FPS and there's about FPS that's done just about everything so you, know, you have to kind of copy off people but and it's still a good game though not bad you try try it out like I probably said it a lot I know I haven't done this in a while, so I kind of forget how to do it. I probably should have watched or remember. But, anyways, then you have, like, and there's also things called, I think they're high value, it's called high value targets or something. There we go, whatever that just said I was, that. It's just like when you get a lot, when you get a couple kills in a row, you get like a, points in a row, you know, points, you become it, and then people will get rewards for killing you and all that, like extra points. And, you know, usually I'm either it or I'm right below the guy and I just kill him, and then I get it. And you see the flag can't run. Just gotta watch everything, gotta watch your corners. I always run the same route. Whenever I play this game mode on each map. I just wanna be careful. Got that. There we go, high threat. That's what, I, that's what it is. That's what you become where people get extra points and people are always trying to kill you. They were dominating. I was dominating because I got so many kills in a row. I just go and see how slow it is. Oh, we got that guy. Nice. Yeah, it can be good. You get, it's easy to see through the sights. Guys, pretty obvious to see through the sights. That's how big they are. And then you also have decent sized maps. They're not. They're little. A little. Uh, depending on what map it is, it can be a little bigger than Call of Duty, but definitely not as big as the Battlefield maps. Insane. I mean, insane the big for this game. You can see when you get 500 points, actually, you won 5 1. The finish number 1, 2. Finish number 2 there. And we went pretty, and we see all of our kills and our stats. Or I 